This burger was created in 1885. It's called the Butter Burger. On today's video, we are exploring three different takes on it. I can guarantee you one thing. It will be the juiciest burger you ever had. Oh yes. They will all be delicious, but which one is gonna be best? Well, we're about to find out right now. And the very first one is this. And here's how to do it. Everything starts off with butter. Choose a good quality butter that you enjoy. Put it in the freezer. And after about one hour, go ahead and shred it just like this. It is important to have it cold. If not, it's going to start melting on you. Yes, it looks like cheese, but it's butter. Next up, you want to grind up your own beef. That's only if you want to have a medium rare burger. If you buy your own ground beef, make sure you cook it to 165 degrees Fahrenheit. Go ahead and set it in a bowl and combine it with the butter. To be specific, 50% of butter. So if you have one pound of ground beef, we're talking about half a pound of butter. Yes, there's nothing fat free about this one. As once everything has been combined, the next thing to do is to go ahead and form your burger patties. And take a look. This is about to be a real delicious burger. At least that's what I'm hoping for. Because butter is not cheap. So this better turn out real good. Now the next important ingredient we need is buns. I'm using brioche buns. I've given the recipe before and it will be on the link in the description down below for you. Now if you ask me what is the best cheese for burgers, that will be the American cheese. It just pairs up perfectly with any burger. Now to cook it up. I went ahead and got my griddle nice and hot. Then I added a little bit of oil followed by the patties. You gotta remember that these are not seasoned yet. So for that I added a good amount of salt and black pepper. And as you can clearly see we're getting a nice brownie on the bottom. That was a sign for me that it was time to flip. The goal here is to cook the burger and get a nice caramelization. Then of course you have to toast your buns. If the buns is not toasted it's just not the same. To finish it up, once I got a nice beautiful crust, I went ahead and added my cheese right on top. Then I covered it so that the cheese can melt nicely. Now for the assembly. I first added my burger sauce, which has mayo, ketchup, mustard, and Worcestershire. Now I added my burger patty and topped it off with the bun. Now this is our very first butter burger. I can guarantee you it's gonna be extra juicy. But the next one we're making, it's gonna be even juicier. And this one is just totally insane. Using the same exact beef we had before, I went ahead and made some balls. And that's because we're gonna be smashing them. But that's not what's special about this burger. This one literally eats butter. And here's why. The first thing to do is to go ahead and toast the buns with butter. Once it was nicely toasted, check it out. Now that is a brioche bun with a lot of butter. The next thing to do is to go ahead and add even more butter. Spread about one tablespoon in each one of the buns. Yes, you cannot be shy. It is called butter burger for a reason. Slather the whole thing with it. As you can see, I was not shy. And hopefully my cardiologist will not take a look at this video. Because now that the bun is ready, let's go ahead and cook some. The first thing to do is to get that griddle nice and hot. Then I immediately add in my balls, followed by a piece of parchment paper right on top and smash the whole thing. We want this one ultra smashed. Now don't forget the seasoning. A good amount of salt followed by freshly ground black pepper. The key of a great smash burger is to get a nice wonderful crust. So as soon as the juicy starts coming up on the top of the meat, that's when you know it's your cue to flip. As the next thing to do is to go ahead and add the cheese. Let that cheese melt right on top because to assemble it's pretty simple. You want to stack each patty individually one on top of the other. But hold on folks, because we're not done yet. Remember we're setting it down on a pool of butter. Yes, put your burger patties right on top. And oh boy, add the top bun with even more butter. This is my take on the Wisconsin Butter Burger. And as you can see, it is as juicy as it gets. This is a burger that you cannot have every day. But when you do, you have to enjoy it. Let me remind you that we are still not done yet, as the next one is even more insane. The first thing we need is butter, thyme, and garlic. Now the next thing I wanted to do is to make a compound butter. To add even more flavor to the wonderful butter, I used my rub. This just produces even more flavor. All you gotta do is mix it well and your compound butter is ready. We're gonna take this outside as we'll be spreading it on our bun. Because the next thing to do is to go ahead and cook our burger patties. And for that, you don't wanna use smash burgers. For the seasoning, I kept it exactly the same. A good amount of salt followed by freshly ground black pepper. And instead of using butter to toast the buns, I used the fat. This will toast them up and give them a wonderful flavor. And as you can see, we started to get a nice, beautiful crust. And as soon as the flip was done, it was time to add in the butter, thyme, and garlic. Now what takes this burger to a whole nother level is actually this, the basting. 
As you know, we use this technique for steaks all the time. It just makes things wonderful. And if you're cooking a burger at home, I highly recommend you giving it a try. Because the next thing to do is to go ahead and finish it up. I went ahead and removed the patties, added some more butter and garlic to the pan, and to melt the cheese, I started basting with it. The more, the better. I can promise you one thing. This thing is gonna be good. Real good. I just have no idea which one is gonna be better. Because to assemble is pretty simple. After adding my compound butter, I immediately placed my patty right on top and topped it off with the bun. Now this is my take on butter burgers. The question is, which one are we gonna enjoy the most? Well, we're about to find out right now. As now I say, it is enough talking and it is time to eat. So let's do it. All right, everybody, here we got our beautiful burgers today, gentlemen. Are you guys hungry? You know what this is? This is a burger video. My favorite kinds of videos. But well, Google, I got one problem with you. Mmm. Well, how come you're the only one with three full burgers? Trust me, on today's video, you might actually thank me later. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be bad? I don't think it's gonna be bad. I think it's gonna be too good, but I'm actually doing it for your health. What about your health? Well, you know me, I, I'm a... Listen, enough talking. I want your honest opinion. Let me know. We're gonna start in this direction. Please dig in, gentlemen. Now, I want you to do a little squeeze and tell me how juicy that burger Damn. is. Damn. Oh, boy, have mercy. That might be a little bit of butter in there, everybody. Just a tiny bit. Enough talking. Let's try this burger. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, wow. That is amazing. Burger heaven right here. Oh, man. This is extremely creamy. Like, there's some sort of cream texture in this. I wonder why. There's a unique savoriness, almost like buttery quality to this. Tangy because of the burger sauce, fluffy bread, nice, beautiful beef. I can eat burgers all day long, guys. Whenever you're eating a burger, you're not eating it to be healthy. So if it's not gonna be healthy, everybody, you gotta go all out. All out is the right word because guess what? This is a thick boy. There's not a smash burger here. Not a smash no, burger no, at no. all. And I can tell you really worked hard on this Maillard reaction because that crispy edges of this burger are divine. Absolutely delicious, do we all agree? Oh yeah. Let's go ahead and go for the next one, all right? They're all using the same exact ingredients, by the way, but it's a completely different technique. I am curious to find out how it's gonna taste. So now I say, enough talking, let's give it a go. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, wow. There's no hiding this one, Google. The butter like <laughs> seeps out of this burger and punches you right in the face. But you know what's the best part? Is that the bread absorbed all of that buttery flavor. So when you take a bite, you have that delicious flavor on top of all the savory, tangy, creamy cheesiness from that previous burger. This is phenomenal. This is almost like the same reaction that you get from garlic bread, but at the same time, right on the outside, you have that crisp and then it's juicy as hell. This is the juiciest burger I've had in a long time, bro. It's a 10 out of 10. We'll highly recommend. Maybe only once a month or maybe <laughs> once a year. By the way, this is called the Wisconsin Butter Burger. Shout out to all the people in Wisconsin. This is another level, everybody. Would you guys agree that it's a lot better than the first one? Yes. This burger is winning for sure. I'm ready for the next one. Are you guys ready? I'm ready, man. So notice this one has a garlic chip right on the top. This I like. <laughs> all right, let's give it a try. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, wow. This is so good. That is so savory. It has thyme, butter, and garlic. It was butter based for quite some time, basically cooked in butter. And on top of that, we mix the butter and Guga rub together and put it on the burger. This has such a unique flavor profile compared to the last two burgers that we tried. You can definitely get that thyme, butter, even a little bit of that sweetness from the Guga's rub all on this beautiful, beefy, cheesy burger deliciousness. It tastes like a filet mignon that got basted in butter. You know what it is? It tastes legit. Luxurious. Yes. Yeah. Elegant. Yes, exactly. And by the way, on top of that, the cheese was actually melted with confit garlic butter. Damn, that sounds so good. With all that being said, Leo, which one is your favorite? I have to go with this Wisconsin butter burger. Wow, I'm surprised because you ate this whole thing here. I know. I'm, I'm <laughs> surprised myself, but that's too good. Which one is your favorite? So I think I'm going to go with this one. You know what? I'm going to 100% agree, everybody. This one here today is our winner. Do we all agree? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Don't come at me if your doctor get mad at you, okay? It's not my fault. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe. Remember, everything I use is always in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. By the way, this is called a Wisconsin... By the way, this is called a Wisconsin butter burger. Wisconsin. By the way, this is called a Wisconsin... Wisconsin. Yes. By the way, it's called a Wisconsin butter burger. By the way, this is called a Wisconsin... <laughs> By the way, this is called the Wisconsin Whataburger.